News. It's 635. Welcome back. Rampant inflation is increasing the cost of living for all North Dakotans. And as candidates prepare for the June primary, they know that the economy is front and center for the voters. Roscoe Striley is a Republican candidate for House in District 3, and he has announced a plan to cut 50% of residential property taxes for all homeowners in North Dakota. I'll explain how Striley says that can take some of the financial burden off the backs of North Dakotans by using the state's current excess surplus. It's a $500 million plan for the upcoming two-year biennium budget. Striley, who used to sit on the House Appropriations Committee, says it's a realistic plan that the state could afford. There is currently $200 million in the tax relief fund and $205 million in another strategic fund. And then the budget surplus through the general fund is $332 million. Striley says that if you add the oil tax revenue to those funds, the state of North Dakota is currently sitting on over a billion in budget surplus and growing by the month. Soybeans are $17, $18. Wheat is $10 plus. Oil is $111 today. All of that is North Dakota is the breadbasket in the and fuels the world. Coal is at high, all-time highs. Natural gas is at all-time highs. So all of this benefits the state budget because we are rich in those. Striley says in a previous session, legislators were able to pass a 12% tax cut across all property classes, and his plan would use the same mechanism. The counties are already set up, able to do this. There would be no investment needed as far as technology or infrastructure for the counties to do this. This is simply report how much residential property tax is collected in your county. The state of North Dakota fills 50% of that. High inflation is driving commodity prices, and that is great for the state's coffers. Striley says the total gross revenue for oil alone in April was $239 million, and the general fund surplus was $128 million above budget. I'm projecting this budget surplus when the biennium's done in uh, June 30th of next year, there will be over two, well over $2 billion in surplus. So to me, it's not unreasonable for the state of North Dakota to give back uh, some of the taxpayers their money. Striley's opponents for the two open District 3 House seats are Representative Jeff Hoverson and Lori Van Winkle. They all agree the plan is a step in the right direction, but they want to go further to eliminate all home property taxes. A dollar cir uh, circulates about seven times per year. So that means you tax that dollar seven times. So that automatically, just by lowering the tax, uh, you will replenish that revenue by uh, about 50% just from, from that reality, that economic principle. Hmm. The other thing that we have to look at is the, the state government, like the federal government, we have to look seriously at the size of our government. Uh, just by, you know, understanding from being a real estate agent, I kind of brought that in as seeing, you know, number one with the amount of government, you know, control, you know, I do believe that families need to be able to own their houses so that they shouldn't be able to lose that investment that they, you know, spent their hard earned time and money, you know, attaining that only in the end, if, if they fall on hard times, that, that it can be taken away from them. Hoverson and Van Winkle are part of a group that plans to put a no property tax measure on the 2024 ballot. And you can go to kxnet.com to see the document with data points that support Striley's plan.